Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. So I am continuing on with my alphabet challenge. Um, the last letter we did was G. Uh, so I believe the next letter is H, if I know my alphabet slightly. Um, so that one, I kind of went left, right, and center on that one. I could not figure out anything to do for the letter H. Um, I know that Miss Gale said the other girls did hinges, and I was like, hinges? What do I do with hinges? So then I was like, oh, that's not going to work. So then she did happy mail, and so I was just like, what the heck am I going to do? <laughs> so I decided to go with hair clips. Um, these can be used for various things. Um, you can use them for closures on small journals, not big ones, small ones. You could actually break the teeth and use them still the same way because it's just uh, it's tension. So if you wanted to break the teeth, you could, I'm sure. And you could just clip it right onto your journal. You clip it onto the top on clipboards, you know, whichever. But I decided to do hair clips. Um, I have absolutely no idea what this is going to look like. I've never done this before. I've decorated things all the time, but I've never decorated hair clips. Um, but I have these, I have a huge pack of these in my house because I have three females in this house. Well, minus my pets, but my two girls plus me and between Sydney and I, we have a lot of hair. And it's very hot in South Carolina, so we like to keep our hair up off of our neck. So, I have clips galore. Now, these are new. I did unclip them, as you saw. Um, I just opened the package. Um, I don't... Do I have it handy? Nope. Um, of course not. What did I do with it? I don't know what I did with it. Um, oh, it's right in front of my face. But it's just a pack that we get at, you know, the dollar store or whatnot. Um, so, stay. Figured we could do hair clips. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start this bad boy and come up with something. Wish me luck. First, I'm going to sand it down just a little bit because it is smooth plastic. And I would like the stuff, whatever I put on it, to stick. Um, now, I imagine you could probably color it. Archival ink, alcohol ink, you know, that jazz. I'm not. I'm going to stick with what? I should have probably done this off camera because I don't know how sensitive this is to people or I don't think I said that properly, but you know what I mean. I think, I hope. I don't, like I said, I don't know how loud it is, but I just figure you guys have volumes. You can adjust your volumes. It's easier for you to adjust your volume than it is for me to try to adjust my volume to meet your needs. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't feel like screaming in them in the microphone. I watch one YouTuber. And, oh my goodness gracious. They are so loud every single time I turn them on. And like, if it's like an autoplay, I literally jump every single time they play because I'm just like, oh my God, they're screaming at me. Cause I have to have it up. Like I have to turn my volume way up for, um, cause I watch Miss Gail's videos every day. I may not watch them every day. I get behind on her videos, just like I do everybody else's. And just like I do my own stuff. But, um, for hers, I have to turn the video way, 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 way up. Cause she's so quiet. Um, but, um, the other person, sorry, I just turned around and grabbed some stuff. But the other person, as soon as their videos come on, 
it hurts my ears because it's so loud. All right, so I've got quite a bit of stuff over here that I can play with to make this pretty. So I'm just going to throw some stuff on here. Um, I don't know what you are. Um, this is kind of a collection bag. Like some of it's from Maggie White. Like this is from Maggie, I believe. Yep. And some of it, you know, it's just, it's kind of a collection bag. I, I have a tendency of doing that. I will, um, uh, and then I have my own applique as well. Anyway, I will, uh, I'll buy something from someone and I won't have anywhere to put it. So I just leave it in the bag and then I'll buy something else and then I'll leave it in a bag and, you know, so on and so forth. So I just have this bag with all kinds of stuff in it. And at this point, I don't know what, what came from home. It's just all over the place. So I'm just going to grab one and go. All right. I'm going to need more sticks. And I have no idea if someone else has done this before. I just know I have not done this before. So if someone else has done this before and you think I'm stealing your idea, I'm so sorry. I know that seems to be like a very big thing. Like I hear about that a lot. I'm actually going to put this on both sides. And it's funny too, um, because Miss Gail will flat out say, I'm stealing that. <laughs> and it's just the cutest thing. Um, all right, let me cut that. And I know I mentioned her a lot in my videos, but she's the reason that I'm even doing this challenge, to be honest with you, because I've seen it done before. But I had made a comment on one of her videos and I was like, you know, I thought about doing it, but it was super late and I didn't, you know, know if someone was going to, you know, say something or whatever. Anyway, she was just like, no, do it. You should do it. Very encouraging. So I was just like, oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. I will do that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. I am liking this so far. Actually, I think what I want to put on here is a doily so I have a base to kind of go off of on the side, you know, over here. Um, I think maybe that might be too big. I do like that though, that little dangly dangle in the bottom. Yeah, that might be too big. Let's go back to the, what is this, a crew? I'm sure someone's going to tell me it's not. I have no idea. It's a doily that's not white. That's what color it is. It's not white. So, I don't know what it is. All right, so we're going to put some glue here. All right, I really don't think I'm going to be able to get these three done in 30 minutes. I bit off way more than I could chew. I would be shocked if I do. All right, ow, it's very warm. All right, now for the other side. And there we go. Like that. Oh, I need another stick.
They're right here on my desk. Actually, oh, not yet. It won't fit in there yet. Now, you could definitely leave this as is, or you could get more decorative with it. Um, I think I want to cover this up because this looks like, I don't know what's the word, um, bad. So, um, let's see. That's too big. Um, too big, too big, too big, too big, too big. Um, let's see. Much better. Yeah, because I don't want to glue the springs, otherwise it won't open. that side and then ah and then there is that side there we go all right there we go okay you just have to be very careful with gluing anything right here. Um, I actually have an idea of what to put there. I just don't have any handy um, because it needs to be able to open. Um, all right, let's see. I don't, I'm not gonna have time to trim. So I need something that's already trimmed way too big. Alright, um, ah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. And what's great about the white ones is you can actually dye it whatever color you want. Like I said, I very, very, very much enjoy the archival inks because it'll let you color stuff like that all the time. Ow! Ow! Touching the glue through the doily is one thing. Touching the glue straight on is a complete other thing. All right, and then we're gonna put the same thing on the other side. Assuming I have another one, I do. Okay. And I don't know how long I was talking in the beginning, so I don't know how far along I actually am in the 30 minute challenge part. Because I'm looking at my on, um, uh, I'm looking at OBS versus my phone because my phone turned black and I buried it. All right, so there is a clip, and you can put this on just about anything. Okay. 
So there's one. I'm scared to look at my clock. Oh gosh, I'm fine. Okay, we're at 17 minutes and 43 seconds. I spent about half the time on one. So we just have to go faster. But now that we know kind of what we're doing, I think it might be a little easier to do that. So we're going to use this one this time on the base. We I should have enough. And this just gives it a little bit of a dangle. So it's not just the clip, you know. And we're going to cut this here, 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 and there. And then we're going to cut this here, 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 and here. All right. Um, so, oh, oh, that just touched the back of my finger. I'm telling you, man, I am all about hurting myself. Not literally, just it seems to happen that way. I wouldn't do that just in case anyone's worried because I said that weird. I'm so sorry. That's not what I meant. Oh, it still hurt my finger though. Okay. So now that we have that, let's do, I want a bigger one. Is this one going to work now? Oh, you know what? This one might actually work because then I could use a bigger one here, like a so. Oh, that would work, that would work, that would work. Sorry, I got excited. Got all quiet. I'm sorry. I was all concentrating. Alright, and this one. Went all scrunched up. This one right here. And that should fit. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. And you know, after you put enough glue on your fingers, um, it kind of becomes an insulator. So, so it doesn't hurt as bad. <laughs> I know it's probably terrible advice, but it is true. Right. 
and you could put pictures on here too um, like if you do fabric um, printing like I don't do fabric printing um, but I do have some that I have if I remember what I did with them because remember that whole I buy things from other people to support them and then put them in a box um, and then I forget where they're at um, oh ow anyway um, I got it off at Etsy shop and they're really really cool um, and this was you know before I started recording again otherwise I would have shared it with you guys alright so there's that. Oh, it's right here actually. Come here, come here, box. Ow, 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 ow. All right. Um. These are little quilted fabric squares. I think I need that. Um, so, isn't that funny? That's funny. Oh, let me use that one. Um, probably use that one. That's pretty. Oh, that'll work, because this is Paris on this side, and this is the Apple Tower on this side. So, They're just little quilted pieces that, you know, she sews. Um, she prints on fabric and then she sews little, little quilt pieces. Yeah, that actually works out really nicely because, like I said, this one is, um, I think I'm going to do it this way. I'm getting into the new stick. It's not hot yet. I'm using it faster than it can heat up. That's hilarious. I was like, why is this so hard to get out? That's why. Alright. I completely forgot about these guys. And these things are so cool. All right, so that is another clip that you can clip onto whatever's. All right, so we have like no time left, no phone left. I don't know what happened to my phone. My phone disappeared. Oh, I found it. Nine minutes left. Oh my gosh, we can do this. Okay, so we're going to go with this one. It's a different color. It's going to yell at me. I know it. All right. Here. Cut that. this side and there we go out okay and then cut this piece it's these doilies that take the longest. I was trying to get them on here. So that one's not big enough. What happened? What happened? Okay, we're 
we're going to go back to these. It's just going to be super big. Actually, do it that way. Because they're crocheted, you can kind of shape them into whatever shape you want. And I'm making it a little bit more oblong, like more oval come around. Um, there we go. I need another stick. Just when this one started heating up, I need another stick. But then again, I'm kind of gluing doilies to plastic, so kind of need that that glue. We. Then again, I have a tendency of using hot glue for doilies, no matter what the um, what they're being adhered to. I don't know why. It's like yarn and hot glue just are meant to be used together. I guess I don't know. Maybe it's a, a combination between the wool and the or cotton, because some yarns are made with cotton or. Um, some of them are made with polyester. Uh, I guess it just really depends what it is. I think the uh, the yarn from back when these were made, it was either wool or cotton. Because <clears throat> wool was cheap. So it was in abundance. But cotton was durable. So sometimes it was cheaper to buy the more expensive thing because in and that's even true now. Sometimes it's cheaper to buy the more expensive thing because it'll last longer. And instead of, you know, replacing it, it's like a it's like a vacuum, I guess. Oh, I did that so wrong. Uh okay, that's okay. Okay. I just didn't get any on the plastic. So I had to kind of wiggle my way in there. This thing is going to yell at me. I know it is. All right. So these are hearts. So we're going to use a little heart. Oh, that one's super cute. I like that. And what's really great about these is they're like ready made embellishments. You can just stick them on your project. And it is so cool. But then again, if you make these and you make them ahead of time, it's the same concept with anything, not just the fabric pieces, but with anything. Oh, I love that. I have more hearts. Please don't yell at me, phone. I'm almost done. Ouch. Okay. Oh my gosh, she just scared the crap out of me. My dog just like started freaking out outside. She's outside with my husband. I'm not sure what he's doing. But, oh my gosh, okay, I'm done. Yay, we made it. I don't know how, but we made it. Okay, oh, and three minutes to spare. Check that out. Look, three minutes to spare. All right, cool beans. All right, so I'm going to clean this up a little bit so I can show you guys what I did. Um, okay, and so these are the little quilted fabric pieces that I was telling you about. So um, I'm going to see if I can something heart. Um, it's one of Gail's videos. One of her shop shares um, is where I found these. 
and that all goes in there. And this all goes right there. Oh, that is a clip. Those are clips. These are, oh, that's another heart. And that's a square. All right. I may not remember where everything came from. Pretty bad about that. Like, Miss Gail seems to be really good about it because she gets all kinds of stuff. People send her stuff all the time. And she's like, oh, this came from so-and-so, and this came from so-and-so. I'm like, how in the world do you do that? Like, that's insane. Okay, so. I have glue everywhere. All right. All right. You want to see them? Okay. Not that you can see them because there's so much stuff on the back. Okay. So. Oh, I missed one. And some stuff is coming out. Oh, I'll put it in there. All right. This is the one that we just did, and there's the clippy clip part. And you could cover that up too if you wanted to. Like you could put another little doily on the inside. Oh, there you go. let me show you. Like you could just put it like that. That way it covers up the plastic on the inside as well. Like, I actually have time I can do that right now. So I'm going to glue this part first so it'll anchor it. And then squish that down. Okay. And then pick this part up. Some more glue in between here. Okay. And then the last piece, just put some glue all right. I need a clip to hold the clip open. Is that bad? Oh, I don't even think it will. It's not big enough. It's not strong enough. Okay. I need more hands. I told Wayne that the other day. He's like, what happened? I was like, nothing. I just need more hands. Now, ouch! And now, you do the other side. Okay, I'm not going to do that with all of them. Right now, I can do that afterwards, but. Because it's, this is actually very painful for my hand to hold it open like this. But, and I know someone's yelling at me, then don't do it! Yeah, well, it's easier to show you how to do something if I'm actually showing you how to do it. You know? So I'm actually going to go backwards with this and I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. So And I don't even know if y'all can see what I'm doing. But doilies are like such an amazing thing. Like I love working with doilies because you can do so much with them. Oh, 
I need another stick. And with this one, I put the glue on the base back here instead of the doily. Because had I put it on the doily, I'd have glue right here where there's no place or anything. All right. So can you see how red my hand is from holding it down like that? Then again, my hands are just red because I'm hot. But anyway. Um, so I don't know. I think that turned out really cool. So, um, have you guys seen the, like, the little foam flowers? You could put little flowers right here. Yeah, hold on. Um, let go. Let go my ego. And I mean, obviously, I'm sitting here playing with this even after the 30 minutes is up. You could, like, construct it very simply. And as you can see, very quickly. And then just keep adding to it. And I like the foam flowers because you can squish them. Or you could just leave it be. I kind of like it just plain. Because, I mean... You don't want to take away from the decorations here, you know? So anyway, that's just an idea. Um, so I think I'm going to take a break from recording for a little bit. Um, this is letter H for hair clip. So there's the front of one. I have glue everywhere. Anyway, and there's the front of one, and there's the inside, and then there's the front or back of the same one, and then the inside. Boop. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dark. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> There's your clip. This just happens to uh, be a sanding block, but you get the idea. And you could clip it on anything. A clipboard, you could hang it on your wall if you wanted to. Yeah, what else? So that's that one. Paris. There's that one. Nom, nom. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm done. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> and then Paris, and then where's my other one? There we go. This is the first one that we did. This was our, our trial and error, try to figure out how it would work type of thing. But I like it. I think it turned out really, really cool. So that's it. That's that's H for hair clip. And there's our hair clips. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some ideas. Um, and yeah, maybe it'll inspire you to decorate some hair clips. Um, so you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.